20th of March 2024. You're welcome back to Real True Education, not fake news. Finnegale Stampede, newspaper report. Finnegale election fears amid stampede for the exit by several TDs, which means Member of Parliament, be the equivalent of a member of the House of Representatives in the United States. Fine Gael members are concerned about the numbers of departing T TDs, as Mayo poll topper Michael Ring, oh, oh he was a big fella, oh, last night refused to rule out standing down at the next election. <clears throat> there was one polit Mayo politician, Enda Kenny, oh, that's the fella if I ever get me hands on him. Uh, oh, oh, that fella should have his pay cut by two thirds. I want to meet him. I met him before. Huh. That's some, some buckle, that fella. Not one red cent into the banks. And he got into power and he gave it all to them. And the same with all the baloney green. What solutions have you, he says to me. Well, the solutions he had is not working. And that's the electric cars, the windmills and the whole lot of it. Now, so anyway, at least two of the other TDs are also known to be weighing in, or weighing up their options with health, age, and significant factors. So, this could bring the total, in my view, to now just let me think, uh, 10, 12. If these ones also pull out, you could have 12 TDs pulling out. There are 158 in the Parliament, okay? Roughly. Don't quote me on the exact amount, it does change a bit. Now, so, contacted by the paper last night, Ring70 said, at the moment I'm, go I'm going again, but I haven't made up my mind one way or the other, and that's all I'm saying, okay? Fine Gael members yesterday admitted to low morale, low morale. Well, what do they do about it? Isn't it their job to get elected in the next ele election? No, they're serving the World Economic Forum. The Bilderberg Group. They're propping up the Biden administration. They loved Hillary Clinton and they hated Trump. And it's all going bang up for them. All going bottom up. And they love Ukraine war. And they hate Russia. And Russia is winning. Everything's going bad. And the next thing is they got the wallop with the family referenda. Okay. Fine Gael members yesterday admitted low morale in the ranks. Uh, and amid speculation that more government party members will step down before the next election. Well, I'd say the reason is they know they're going to not be re-elected. I'd say that's the reason. Deputies privately conceded that it is now a blow, It is not, that it was a blow that the members of the, the number of the party colleagues, 10 whom, whom won their seats in 2020, had now reached double figures. So they've expressed assent the and agreed. This is a big blow to us because... Uh, the 10 party colleagues who won their seat in 2020 are now go running, leaving the ship. This is one after another, said one. And uh, you know what you'll do, folks? Will every one of you go? Get out. Every one of you. Varadkar, Coveney, and indeed McEntee. You're not the Fine Gael that you once was. It was once run by Owner Duffy. You wanted to Google him. <laughs> anyway, and the Cosgraves and all them. Right? Now reached double figures. It is one after another, said one colleague. It has an effect, all these announcements. It'll put it, like, I'll put it like this. You ask, you ask yourself, do, do they know something I don't? Well, I don't, that's a good question. Maybe my, my viewers will answer that. They could know they're going to be heavily defeated. Meanwhile, the Fine Gael Parliamentary Party, Party meeting tonight is set for fireworks amid, amid significant annoy, annoyance with the leadership. Well, I have one bit of advice for you with your party meeting tonight. You keep Coveney and keep Varadkar. Keep them there and keep McEntee. You keep them there because we'll hopefully, with, with God, the help of God and a bit of luck, we'll challenge you and put every one of you out. Leave you with not one TD, hopefully, right? One senior source told the Irish Independent that Leo Varadkar was in for a hard come down from the high of his trip to the United States. Well, Ireland has a, an audience with the US president. God, I don't know how any decent Irishman could, could, could go over and shake hands with that fella, with that fella Biden. But there's a possibility Trump will get back. And while he's not perfect, 
then <laughs> that'd be nice to see a good conservative Irish Taoiseach meeting President Trump. And he's still the president in my eyes, but all is false. Okay. So it's a climb down for him. We'll hopefully give him a bigger climb down. He's supposed to have said he'll go back to running his medical practice. Huh? Can you imagine giving you an injection? <laughs> I'm not going into it. Ha ha ha! say if he got me with the big needle. I know, quit. <laughs> so now, there is palpable anger over the government's handing of the referendum. No, there isn't. <laughs> no, there isn't. They just did what the Wokes told us to do at the World Economic Forum and they got their asses kicked by the Irish mammies and the Irish daddies who supported the Irish mammies and the Irish children who want their mammies and want their mammy in the Constitution and want their contribution acknowledged acknowledged to our society up the mammies ah, up the mammies you can't get a book called the irish mammy with a hot water bottle on it it's deep in the psychic folks you made a big mistake coming after the irish mammy i'm telling you that no <laughs> no so now there is palpable anger at the handing of the referendum and to a lesser extent parachuting celebrity candidates to run the party who also caused annoyance. So they're parachuting in celebrity candidates to look for the various seats, like the prize seats, like the member of the European Parliament, because there is a still a core Fine Gael vote. Now, it has to be said, some of my greatest friends are Fine Gael. I am intrinsically connected, even though my traditional background is Fianna Fáil, I'm intrinsically connected with Fine Gael. I mean, Fine Gael people would call to see my old Granny Longo, call to us in the house, drink tea, sometimes drink in the town. Like, there was never any, in case anyone in America thinks we go around asking people what politics are, we never do that. We couldn't give a damn. It's just traditional where the site and some people who are thieves or Fine Gaelers, and some people who are thieves or Fianna Fáilers. It's just a cross spectrum. I don't know why it goes that way. I think they just get the habit of it. Anyway, what they're doing now, however, is that at least if you had a local candidate coming in for these jobs, they're there all the time. They expect to get the nomination, but they're putting in celebrities. And you see, that's the key of the World Economic Forum. Nancy Pelosi, uh, Robert De Niro, it's Brooke Springsteen, another walker. Okay? And you get these walks all over the place. And maybe even in the British royal family. And you have them. And they want their people in. So you can see that the democratic restriction. What, these, what the World Economic Forum and the walks would do if there was no democracy. They'd have a Putin-like thing or a Hitler-like thing. Which even worse. I'm not just too sure about Putin, but we'll go on for North Korea. That's what you'd have. You'd have enforced communism, wokeism. And they have to try and get around that due to the electoral system. And I claim, and I've been at votes all the time, the Irish electoral system is honest. I've been at it. It's very hard to cheat. I don't know how you cheat. But they, what they do is they stick in their candidate who's already programmed, who's already checked to make sure they're woke. Right? You look at France. Macron, his, his wife, if she's a woman, is 24 years older than him. There's something not quite right there. You look at that. The gay thing is all part of the conditioning of the politicians of the future. They start way down. And the like of these Fine Gael TDs who are leaving are ordinary people. They should have fought them, but they haven't the brains or the courage, and so they're running away. There was one parachute into Dublin there recently, and the local one beat her. I think I think this in Fine Gael, they still have to get the vote of the local common, the local organisation. So if the government or Leo Faradka says, I want someone in from in from uh, Cork into that job there, she's woke, uh, they still have to vote her. And normally they will go by the party mandate, but in this case, they mightn't do it. So they're parachuting in candidates to try and get these ones elected. And these people are chosen by the World Economic Forum and by all the woke and the, the deep state, and they're conditioned for this. It's very important to understand that concept. I might deal with it again, okay? So now, so the news, former top jockey, Nina Carberry, that's a woman jockey. So she was, oh, celebrity, oh yeah. Oh, she, she rode a horse. <laughs> I rode a horse when I was young, pulling in cocks of hay. 
We'll seek the Fine Gael nomination to run in the European Parliament election has mixed response from power, power three members. So she's running because she's a celebrity, Nina Carberry. Oh, Nina, oh, and oh, she's a woman. Oh, she's a jockey. Oh, a horse. Oh, she's running like a horse. She's running. They have a horse in America called AOC Cortez. <laughs> I can't show you my teeth. <laughs> you want to see hers? They call her the Kentucky Derby because she looks like Mr. Ed with horse's teeth. But anyway, so do you see now what they're doing? They're parachuting in celebrities so that Nina Carberry can have her career enhanced. She's a member of the European Parliament. Ew. And what does she know about her constituency? That's why, folks, we have Herman Kelly running here. And I think we're going to regret that we haven't too. I think we could have got two elected here. I'm not just too sure uh, that the election will, will call it. Anyway, so now, so the horse her in. The horse her in. Do you get the point? Nina Carberry, she's a jockey. I'm saying she was horsed in. <laughs> <laughs> European Parliament and has mixed response they don't like it oh, what is she probably in here for one senior government source said there was a high level of discontent a lot of people are sick of these celebrity candidates being feisted upon the party they have no political pedigree they said they are not happy ha <laughs> ha that's the stuff for you we are we got a thumping in the referendum result and the feeling is that this is entirely deserved <laughs> it's entirely deserved yeah, you met me. Any of you could have raised one issue in the doll at my request about the SEA directive and the government's refusal to obey international and European law, and none of you would do it. None of you would do it. So it's well deserved. Many Finnegale TDs were unavailable for comment. Ha! Ah, they're putting in the cabbage plants when contacted by the Irish Independent, while some insisted there was no cause for concern over the natural wastage. Well, there would be natural wastage, in all fairness. Well, that'll all depend. They'll have to appoint new ones and will they get elected? One said, every election is a turnover of what has gone before. We need a blend of youth and experience. That Some of that would normally be true, but the scale of this is very big. Another said, the very long career of many now departing TDs shows what a success the party has been and now it needs to renew itself and rebuild. Well, Enoch Powell, the British uh, uh, Little Englander or English nationalist, used to say every political career eventually ends in failure. And that is kind of right. Anyway, they're going to try and rebuild it. Well, we'll see. Others said the referendum had members worried, spooked and wary about the local and European elections in seven weeks' time. Major reverses there too. Major reverses there too. And we really are in trouble for the general election said a source on condition of anonymity. Well, fair enough. The person, I believe this, wants to be anonymous. That's okay by me. But a highly placed party source dismissed what he called cut and paste stories about Fine Gael in crisis, saying that he has been hearing that that's same since 2013, if not before. They never had a majority. They used to team up with Labour that they never had a majority. And I will say that in many ways it was time to put up an, some type of opposition to Charles Hawley. But they never got down to the ordinary person. They were always a big fellas party, unfortunately, and that's the way. We'll have new candidates where old ones are not running again. Some are very strong and experienced vote getters and will be TDs within the next year. I'd say they'll get a couple elected, but I don't know. What have they to show? What have they to show? Example of, all oh, they'll be on about, oh, climate change, vote for me, climate change, climate change. That's all we'll hear from them, right? The party needs renewal and the changing of the guard, but one person's crisis is another opportunity, the member said. Well, I think that could be for people on my side, for parties of the, what is called the right, conservative parties. This could be our opportunity to get these villains out. Some members worried, wondered, meanwhile, whether the Taoiseach has signalled some concern about the stampede or exit, as one put it, because of Mr. Cannon. Now, one went there before that, Mr. Cannon uh, pulled out, revelation on RT radio, that Mr. Faradja had attempted to persuade him to stay on. So this man, C Cannon, uh, he's Galway, I think, he's pulled out there, he's about number 10, I think, and he says Faradja tried to get him to stay on, so you see, they're pretty, pretty desperate, right? But then why should he stay on? Why should he stay on to be preached to by Veruca and by the World Economic Forum? You'd either decide you're Irish or your World Economic Forum or you're EU. You must make up your decision what side you're on. And if you're on that side, even though you mightn't get doing everything you want, at least you're being honest. Okay. 
I would suggest that he knows himself that a whole lot of TDs riding off into the sunset is not good for PR, even though they would all have their own reasons for doing so, said one TD. Mr. Cannon said he approached the Taoiseach in mid-January to have an initial discussion. We have a number of meetings since then, and to be fair, he gave me all the time and space to make the decision. Ultimately, I made the final decision about four to five days ago. Now, you may know well that every one of these TDs did the same. So I would call on Mr. Cannon to tell us, what did he talk about? What did he talk about? Was it anything of significance to voters? I guess it wasn't. Anticipated colleagues' anxiety. Anticipating colleagues' anxiety. Mr. Cannon said, there is a lot of nonsense spoken about why people make a particular decision in any walk of life. And that's true because you might just want to hang up your feet. I would not be getting involved in politics if it was not that I can't bear to see me little country being destroyed by these hoodlums, right? In any walk of life. It's perfectly acceptable for someone to say, I've given 20 years and in some cases 30 to 40 years. It is. That's all right. But that's not what's happening here. I've decided it's time to move on, and there's no other deeper meaning. But somehow, in the world of politics, it seems that there's a kind of additional impact attached to it. I don't see that right. Everybody in, in life has to move on. Well, you do. Well, that's all right. He's a reason. He, at least he can reason that. Get it? So that's it. Folks, that's the story now in 16 minutes. Uh, there is a problem in, in Fine Gael. Let me know what you think. It'd be better if not one Fine Gael candidate got elected. Heather Humphreys in this, in the constituency of Cavan was the went round. Of course, she was told to do it. Went round canvassing for a yes vote, and except for Don Leary, got none. Got none. So how big are they losing touch with the people? I don't know. And the public are now seeing that Sinn Fein should have been the recipient of all the transfers of votes, but they are worse than Fine Gael. Worse that they're now they have been promising to rerun the referendum, they might now, but they that's what they're thinking of. Don't be on any doubt. Sinn Fein thought they'd get the woke stuff slipped in under the blow about United Ireland and fair this and fair that. They thought they get slipped in under. It's our job, it's the job of, of patriotic Irish people to put up some type of opposition, put up candidates some way, and I'll try and help them on that. And it's also the duty of people who feel that uh, some of these candidates that's running are really bad for Ireland, to go door to door and do negative campaigning, explaining to voters in the nicest possible way why they should not vote for them. I did it. I got involved in it and did it, and I know the law, and I'll do a video on it, to try and destroy their careers. Folks, that's it. Give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Comment on the neat. We'll see you back soon.